Right, guys, I'm Jamie. I'm Stephen. And this is Six Things That Piss Us Off, part two. Um, the first episode will be in the link in the description. If you haven't already seen it, go check it out. It's it's, it's alright. It's, all, it's, it's, it's with Jake. It's with Jake. So, yeah, um, this time I'm doing it with Stephen. As, you know, we're taking it in turns. I think next episode, Jake and Stephen are going to do one. We're going to start off the list, and Stephen's going to tell you about one of the things that piss him off. So, without further ado... So, number one is manners and people that have a certain degree of disrespect. So, I mean, so basically, it it just gets on my nerves so much. So, basically, you'd have... So, actually, no, no, I'm going to use this example. So, basically, me and Jamie went to a nightclub uh, last Saturday and the Saturday before. And we were having a good time and everything. And we thought, because we were going from club, like, club to club, so it was like club to club it's like floor to floor different, yeah, floor different, to floor, floor. different floors and shit and so we were like okay we're just gonna hold open a door to let you know some people through we got one like thank you it was barely even a thank you it was like yeah it was like a nod like, yeah. out of about like, 20 people I was like well that's a bit you know a bit rude yeah um, and you know that shows obviously that they, they might not necessarily have bad manners at the time but like in general but yeah. when they didn't I don't know, it's like, no, it's when just, they don't it's say please, thank you, and stuff like that, it just It's not even, off. like, manners, it's just common courtesy, just, like, like someone opens the door for you, like, oh, cheers. Uh, you barge and someone, oh, sorry, mate. Uh, someone grabs something for you, thank yeah. you. It's, it's not difficult to have manners. I know we don't have that a lot of the time, but... Yeah, but we, we do. We know when to yeah. we know when to use them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Number two on the list, which is my first one, is when people will spoil a movie... Um, I tried really hard not to do this today. I was watching a movie with Stephen, and it was really not hard because I've seen it before. It not funny to, as fuck. It was though. funny as fuck. It was hard not to spoil it because I knew all the little funny things that happened. He kept asking me questions like, oh, does this happen? Does this happen? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Obviously, I'm lying because I know exactly what happened, mm-hmm. but I just, I don't want to ruin the anticipation because it ruins the movie. I mean, like, when we went to see the Avengers, someone, who was it? I think someone had come with yeah. us and seen it. It was Sunny, I think it was. No, yeah, it was. No, 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 just, was no disrespect to Sunny, but he was, like, he just kept, because he seen the trailer so many yeah. times, oh, oh, wait, wait for this bit, wait for this bit. I'm like, oh. Yeah, it was like, oh, w- wait for this. Th- this scene's sick. I'm like, you've just given it away. Yeah, the, the anticipation's gone now. Like, we had the hope of something cool, like jump scaring or uh, a cool scene to come up, but then you're just like, now nah, fuck it, I'm going to ruin it. It's, this isn't directed at Sonny, please do not take this personally, but it's people in general that ruin movies. It pisses me off, pisses you off as well, right? It's like, well, why would you, yeah? So so you guys can probably relate to this. Um, that So if you've already seen the movie, yeah, whether you've found it on a website at home like a week before it's released or something like that, because some people can do that. So like... Yeah. Um, it's like, why would you want to go into a cinema... Watch the movie again when you already know what's happened. Like, okay, what I usually do is if I've seen a movie, it's like a good movie, I'd go back to it in about a year's time and then watch it again. That's the thing, yeah. You don't want to go back like, a few days like, later and yeah. watch it again. It kind of ruins it. Like, it ruins it. It ruins, it it ruins the first experience. You're like, because you've seen it once. You don't ruin someone else's experience. Don't Spoilers, oh my God, that pisses me off. When someone gives spoilers without warning you, like, hmm. oh, do you know in this movie this happens? You're just like, Oh, you're a dick. You're a straight up dick. Uh, that's not me being savage. It's just, no, it's just annoying, ain't it? It's annoying. S- <laughs> some of you guys will probably relate to this if you really like movies like we do. Mm. So, all right. So mm. your time so now. So this actually happened to me today. So this is when offers expire, but they don't take them down. So basically. Me and Jamie went to Tesco's about an hour before we got our plans to do this video and everything. So I walk in, we're really hungry, so I'm like, okay, I want something hot. So I went down to the ready meal section, bearing in mind I can cook other things, I just couldn't not be <laughs> fucked today. Um, so we go in, um, I was like, okay, I'm going to have a look at what's on. So obviously, instantly, if you want to like save a bit of money, you go, oh, look, this is on offer, that's sick. So I walk over, nice chicken korma, £2, re- like off from 2 4 I think it was, was it 242? 242, that was it, 242. And I was like, okay, it's here for £2. I was like, sick. I like that. <laughs> Walked over to, you, you know, like self-service machine. I was so happy because I was like, got myself a bottle of Cherryade as well. 
I mean, good old trusty cherry head. Okay. Um, and then I was like, okay, so altogether it should come up to 258. Go in it, it says three pounds. I'm like, okay, it just hasn't reduced it yet. Nope. Still kept it on for three pound, and I was like, why? Why could you do this to a person? You know, like it's cruelty. It's like you're going to save yourself a bit of money, and it gives you a boost. Like you get so happy. Like like what Jamie did with his twenty four pack of Coke, six pound <laughs> Tesco's. Pretty cheap for a twenty four pack. Yeah, twenty four. I mean, it's gonna last me a good two weeks. And like seventy one p each individually. So I mean. I don't, I'm surprised you know that. How do you know that? Oh, because I, I get them every time I come from skate park. Just go and get a can of Coke. Anyway. <laughs> um, Rambling. <laughs> so, so, so basically, um, yeah, it's that. Like, If that's happened to you guys, comment below. Like, It's annoying. It's like, all they have to do is go in, slide the little like plastic see-through thing out, take it out, put New it back on, on for the normal. Exactly. It's not fucking difficult. Because obviously in Tesco's, all of their d- discounted stuff is in, like, with the yellow things. So I'm like, why didn't you take it out then? I was like... It's not difficult. It's like, it's annoying. Mm, mm. So yeah, um, <laughs> on to Jamie's one. Alright, so my second one, um, which is number four on the... Yeah, number four on the list. Number four on the list. Is not having enough money. Um, this isn't me being poor. This isn't me being, like, scavenger-like or um, whatever. It's just... Not having like enough change, and yeah, stuff like that yeah. And, like, so what, fares and shit. Yeah, so when you go to the um, when you go to a shop or, and for example, say I go to a shop, I have two pound on me, um, I get a can of can of coke, like you said, seventy one p. I come back at one thirty, um, then I decide to get on the bus and I like yeah, just single to town, maybe like a pound or something. Then yeah. I was like one one fifty, and I'm like, oh, oh sorry, I, I haven't got twenty p. Can you let me off? He'd be like, no. Do you ask that's that's I can see why. 20p is quite a lot of money. But, yeah, but it's like when it's like 2p. That's the thing. Like, I, w- I remember I went into the shops with my mum when I was like 10. Uh, we went to get a loaf of bread. We were like 2p short. And we've been going to that shop for fucking years. And then they said, she was like, oh, can I run down and give you 2p later? And they were like, no, you can't have the bread. I mean, it's fucking it's 2, two p. It's 2p. You could, you know, if, I know the plastic bag thing wasn't on back then. But I mean... It's not fucking much. It's two B. I could go on the street right now, look for two B, come back and give it you. You know, it's yeah. not fucking hard. Two P, mate. Two P. I mean, a lot of people have two P's at the bottom of their bag. Yeah. Under their bed. I don't know. I'll probably have like a quid under that bed somewhere. It happened to me <laughs> before because I was I was on the bus this one time. I don't think I told you, but I was on the bus. I was like, one pound fifty, child single. This was one of about fifteen, sixteen. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get a child single, but I only had I had, I think one pound forty five. I was like, oh, mate, I've 5p. Can you yeah, just let me yeah, off for that? Yeah, just let me show, yeah. yeah. I was like, sorry, get off the bus. I'm like, why? It's 5p. I was like, I know it's 5p, but I'm not allowed. I'm like, it's 5p. I've seen you. Like, you, you know when you know yeah, these you, drivers. Yeah, you know yeah. drivers because you like, got on the bus We've often. been busing for about, like, seven, eight years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not. And so you know each, like, almost, like, know what each driver does. And he lets someone on a penny out. I'm like... Okay, yeah, penny. Penny, Dif- no problem. 4p difference. Yeah, 4p difference, and yet, you know... Nah, I can't do that, sorry. Stupid. I mean, I remember when I came back from a party at Hannah's once, one of our friends, girlfriends, and then I was come- taxiing back to yours, and it came to, like, 26 quid. Alex and I got- gave me their share of the money, but I was, like, 4 quid short. I was like, sorry, mate, I've only got, you know, I've only got 25 quid, and you wanted, um, I think it was, like, 20... No, I think it was 30, actually. Was it? Yeah, it's 30 odd quid, and I was like, sorry, mate, I've only got... You know, 20, 25, 20, 25, I don't know. It was like, yeah. I was drunk as fuck, I don't remember. And he was like, no, man, don't worry about it, it's cool, have a good night. Yeah, there's nice people. That's the thing, there's like really nice people, and then there's assholes that won't let you off for 2p. Like, can't let me off for a fucking fiver, so respect to that guy. Yeah, <laughs> but so. yeah, very rambling about that. Um, yeah, your, your last one. Oh, judgmental people. So, all of you must have Facebook, and this thing had come up, it was like, so it was... These two women that were going in, they started insulting this fat guy who was in McDonald's. So basically, mm. um, I just did that by accident then, didn't I? What? I just said fat person. Okay? <laughs> I just A person of large quantity. Well, basically, there was this... So, if you've seen the video, you know what I'm on about. So basically, what happened was, they were in McDonald's, there was this... That there's a slightly overweight guy, but I mean, obviously everyone's in McDonald's anyway, just getting all, pretty much all the same. Yeah. And these two, like, walk next to him, say this little joke, so they're like, oh, I'm going to get a salad, start laughing and everything, trying to insult this guy. Obviously, 
you know, he wasn't listening in and everything. Like, he was just wanting to get his food order. And then they start saying, you're a disgrace, you're a McDonald's, this food's killing you and shit like that. I'm like, really? Yeah. I haven't seen the video. Seen he's it. allowed to go to fucking McDonald's. Doesn't matter how large he is yet, he's allowed to go to fucking McDonald's. You cannot stop him from going. And then they started saying, you're a disgrace, you're... Um, you're disgusting and stuff like this, but then um, credit to this like this, this other guy comes in and he's like he backs this guy up straight away and there was this guy in front of him that was backing him up as well started saying w- you're wrong and stuff like this and then so they weren't this, the skinniest either. I saw like I saw glimpses of the video because I was yeah. at work, but they weren't that skinny either. And this guy comes over, he's like you're a disgrace. What do you th- like? Why do you think you like you're not allowed to say this stuff? Poured the drink over her head. Good, good. Um, Fuck and then she started saying, "Oh, you, you're a disgrace. You're pouring it all over a woman." I'm like, "You're not a fucking woman. You've you're got a... the mind of a fucking teenager." What like, fucking... okay, yeah, we're teenagers, but there's limits. We don't, you know, we judge each other, yeah, but we laugh it off, okay? Like, we like don't... that's what most people do. I mean, right? like, if you if you don't have banter with yourself, what's the point in having banter with other people? Like, I can call myself out. Oh no, no, yeah. we'll laugh about it. I can call Stephen a dick, and he, it's true because he's a dick, but. So he's, he's, that's, that's the kind of thing where it's banner levels. Yeah. Fuck you, but... but um, that's that's, see, that's they, my they had, way of reacting. They had no idea who he was. They just come up to him. The poor guy... Straightened up and insulted him. And then, I mean, he was just trying to get some food, maybe a drink or something, and they just... He pours his drink over them. Fair play. Fuck them. And, and the Fuck point them. is, basically, the point is, like, what's... Like, why... What gives her the right over everyone else in that shop to judge this one guy, Okay. Who says, oh, I'm going to go to McDonald's with my side chick. I'm going to go judge a fuck, you know. Yeah, with well, a fuck, I'm going to judge an innocent person. Yeah, I tried to swear more. then, like, I, oh, but I, I didn't want to swear. I went, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's like, what gives her the right over everyone else to judge someone by, you know, what they look like? Like, I mean, okay, yeah, he may be large, but anyone's allowed to go to McDonald's. That's the thing, there's no limitation kind of thing, but. And it, it just really winds me up, guys, so. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll try and calm down. Uh, I'll try and insert like a the small clip of the video in this somehow. Yeah, yeah we'll but, try and find it and then we'll yeah. put it in, but it's cool. not. Now on to Jamie's third one. Alright, so this isn't something amazingly big, it's just something that really pisses us off. It's probably just us personally. I know other people get pissed off by it, but it's, you know, hand movements and, and shit and... <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, if you guys watch this video, I bet you I've done loads of hand things like this, like that. It's just like the thing. St- that's the thing. When you're trying to express yourself, you do a lot of hand, hand moving. That's why I've been like crossing my arms with doing that because it's just the way we are, you know. It's how we, we express our feelings. We Rambling. we are human. Timetables, bus timetables. So we used to bus a lot when we were in school. We bus what? How long were you at school for? Like five, six years, or was it? You were there for six. I was there for seven. Cause oh I yeah, because you, yeah, you went six form. But anyway, so yeah, we used to bus all the time. We had to get two buses to school each day. But when bus tables aren't accurate and it's you know it really affects you, so you manage to get to school for a certain time. You get um, manage to get a certain bus which gets you there for you know an exact time. Ours was a weird time. Eight forty-five. Yeah, it was a weird school time. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> accurate day. Um, when the timetable is wrong and so you get to the bus stop for i don't know for example 7:33 or some weird it was weird times like that yeah. when you get to the bus stop for 7:33 the bus is due for that time and there's no bus for another i don't know 20 odd minutes and you're just waiting there like where the fuck is the bus if it came at uh, 7:32 that's wrong because that's not how timetables work you may come on the time if you're there early you wait until that time's over and then you go I mean, what the, it pissed me off because it really messes up people and people get really stressed off with the drivers and the, and the drivers get really annoyed with the people because they're getting pissed off with them. I mean, it's a, it's a ro- it's a, like a big rotating circle, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's what's wrong with transport at the moment. They never get their timetables right because mm. whenever I went to school, I always had to get up 7 in the morning, get on the bus by 7.15. I'd usually have to wait till half past for the bus to turn up, but it wouldn't be the correct bus for me. So... Basically, there was this time where I can, where I could only get on red buses, Oxford. So if you're from Oxford, uh, Oxford bus company is red, stagecoach is blue. So basically, I could only get on red buses. So I would deliberately, like, I would get there on time, perfectly timed, like, for the bus I can get on. But then a stagecoach would come, and I'd, I, you know, I'd just be like, what the fuck's going on here? 
And then um, I'd be like, okay, just wait another 15 minutes, no problem. Then another stagecoach would come, and it would wait, like, I'd have to be waiting about 20, 30 minutes just for my correct bus to come. Because the timetables are all fucked up. It was like, the correct bus never comes on the correct time it's supposed to come. Mm. I mean, it's a massive piss take. I mean, it's just little things that probably piss us off, but these are... You know, it's obviously enough if we want to make a video about it. (laughs) But, um... Yeah, no, that's the end of the video. So, thank you for watching the six things that piss us off. If you did enjoy it, then uh, definitely drop a like down below. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, the link to the other video. So, we'll probably go back on the other video, name that part one. This will be part two. Then should be part three. But that will be in the description below. And uh, if you do agree with any of these, uh, comment down below. So, that's how we know that you guys yeah, actually yeah. agree with this video. Yeah. Because some people do like the thing called a dislike button but that's that's not um yeah ignore that button that's not there yeah that's just like <laughs> you know just, just get rid of that button go to its this 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 this, this button one. this one instead this, this one <laughs> but yeah no thank you very much for watching um subscribe if you are new around here because we're nearly at uh 450 subs which is pretty which cool is it's pretty cool yeah. yeah and um yeah thank you very much for watching and we will see you guys next time Bye. Bye.